Ayan. Ayan. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, mga kasangga at mga kasama. Welcome to Motivay Class! Ayun, and we are down, Mam Tintin, into our last topic for P2. P2. Oh, bilis! bilis diba? Parang kailan parang lang, kailan lang nag, nila. Parang kailan lang nag-release tayo ng P1 grade. Parang kailan lang ang daming nag-message sa'yo. Nag-message sa akin <laughs> kung ano ang grade nila ng P1. Yes. Ngayon, Mam Tintin, P2 na. P2 na. P2 na. Ang okay? Bilis, bilis niya. This is our last topic for lesson 14 but before we move on to that Mang Tintin, alam mo naman, last week nagkaroon tayo ng 10 ng 11 12 13 na topic. Tatlong topics And napaka sarap ng feeling, napaganda sa feeling yung mga comment nila sa YouTube ma'am na tama lahat ng sagot. Hindi ko lang, hindi ko lang alam yung iba ah, kung kinapi paste lang talaga. The power of copy paste. Uh, pero sinabi ko naman sa kanila yung consequence kapag nag-copy paste lang. Pero nung remote coaching ma'am Na naman natin mo naman na hindi lang nalabas sa kinapipay. Oo, oh, oh, ang galing-galing ng mga... Talagang nag-solve sila. Oh. And because of that, we are now ready to learn lesson 14. And lesson 14, it's all about... Predicting behavior using regressional <laughs> regression analysis. Buti ka pong nagkamali doon. Huwag nang ulitin. Huwag <laughs> okay nang ulitin, okay na yun. Alam naman na nilang palagi tayo nagkakamali sa mga ganun. <laughs> Lalo na. Sa Math 152, no take 2. Ganun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sa kalkulus lang. <laughs> Okay, objectives. We have three objectives, Mam Tintin. Okay, first one is to evaluate the regression formula. Second is to define the regression analysis. And last but definitely not the least is to estimate the regression variables. variables. Let's start. Regression analysis, Mam Tintin, constitutes an important part of statistical analysis to explore and model the relationship between Variables. Actually, this is now the relationship between X and Y. Oh. oh. So, regression analysis helps us in predicting the value of a dependent variable based on the values of the independent Yun. variables. Ah, so, diba? titignan natin yung relationship ni dependent and independent, independent variables. variables. And regression analysis produces a regression equation where the coefficients represent the relationship between each independent variable and the dependent variable. Kagaya ng sinabi mo kanina, ma'am. So, in this module, the students will compute the regression value, determine the regression equation, draw the regression line, and perform regression analysis. By performing a regression analysis on a data, we can de determine whether or not these variables have impact on each other. And if so... To what extent? Ayan. Okay. So, may mga, eh, and if so, and if so siya. <laughs> okay. Eh, ano nga bang tinatawag nating regression analysis? Ayan. So, regression analysis is used when predicting the behavior of a variable. The regression equation explains the amount of variations observable in the independent variable x. So it is actually an equation of a line, meaning to meaning to say that there should be a significant linear relationship between the variables. Yan yung ano ma'am, yung uh, as x, yung kapag mag-iiba yung value ni x, mag-iiba rin ang value ni Ayan. y. So meron silang significant relationship. relationship. Okay, so moving on, we have our... Formula or two types of variables. Two muna. types of variables. Of course, is, first is the dependent variable. It is the main factor that you're trying to understand or predict. Yes, and independent variable, the factors that you hypothesize have an impact on your dependent variable. Uh, so, so, yung dependent variable natin is based, nakabase siya sa ating independent, independent variable. Depende, variable. Ang, ang ilalabas ng dependent variable ay depende sa kung sa ano ang ibibigay ng independent variable. Yes, parang nasabi na natin lahat dito. <laughs> Oo, huwag na natin mag-discuss yata. Okay? Next. Formula tayo. Ayan. Regression, Regre equation regression equation is y is equal to a plus bx. Kala so, mo, yan lang Para siyang ano, familiar sa mga linear equation. Yes, Naalala mo yung linear equation natin? Yes, sa gen yes, math. Sa gen math. Kala mo yan lang, pero wait, there's wait, more. Wait, there's more. Kala mo, sa substitute mo lang yung ab, no? You uh, need to solve first. <laughs> in order for you to get the regression equation, you need to know your a and your b. And the formula for b is ayan, n summation of x y minus summation of x times summation of y all over n quantity summation of x squared minus quantity summation of x 
nasa labas ang square. And A is equal to summation of Y minus B times summation of X all over N. Again and again, pag mali ka kay B or mali ka kay A, mali huwag mo nang asahan na tama ang regression Okay, where y is the criterion measured or our dependent variable? X is our predictor independent variable. A is our ordinate or the points where the regression line crosses the, the y, y axis, axis or yung tinatawag natin y intercept. And B is equal to beta weight or the slope of the line. Ayan. Okay, take note ma'am din, tinsabi ko kanina, si y ay nakadepende sa kung ano value ni yes. x. Okay. And, bago mo makuha yung regression equation natin, again, you need to solve first for our A and B. And for that, Mang Tintin, okay, para mas lalo nilang maintindihan, let's proceed on our examples. Okay, given the following data solved using the regression analysis, number of hours spent in reviewing, meron tayong 3, 5, 1, 2, 6, 0, 4, 1, 2, 7, 8, 10, 9, and number of mistakes in the test, 4, 3, 15, 20, 1, 20, 8, 10, 19, 6, 2, 3, 0. And let's try to, to answer the following questions. What is the value of A? What is the value of B? What is the regression equa equation? What is the expected X if Y is 110? ko po, what is Y if X is 30? Let's start. Okay, mas madaling natin gawin ito mga anak kung gagawa tayo ng table natin. Okay, so this is our x. This is our y. Okay. Next is our x times y and we have also our x squared. squared. Okay. So isulat na natin our x is 3 5 5 1, one 2 go 6 okay. 0 okay. 4 okay. 1 okay. 2 okay. 7 okay. 8 okay. 10 okay. 9 12 char wala nang wala nang 12 <laughs> and our y is 4, four 3 15 Ipo. 20 okay. 1 okay. 20 okay. 8 okay. 10 okay. 19 okay. 6 Okay. Two. Okay. Three. Okay. Zero. Zero. Okay. Let's try to multiply. X and Y. So this is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. 5 times 3 is 15. 1 times 15 is 15. 2 times 20 is 40. 1 times 6 is 6. 0 times 20 is 0. 4 times 8 is 32, isn't it? Yes. 1 times 10 is? 10. 10. 2 times 19 is? 38. 38. 7 times 6 is 42. This is 16. This is 30. And this is 0. And let's have our x squared. 3 squared is 9. 25. 25. 1. 4. 36. 0. 16. 1. 4. 49, 64, 100, 81. Oh, sa mga nagtatanong, sir, bakit naging 9? In squared kasi natin yung x. So, 3 squared. 3, 3, times, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And let's now get the summation of x. Okay? Summation of x, summation of y, summation of x, y, and summation of x squared. Summation of y, summation of x, y, and summation of x squared. Hindi na kaya ng powers ko. Gagamit na ako ng calculator. <laughs> 3 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 0 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 9. This is equal to 58. Okay? Why naman po tayo? 4 plus 3 plus 15 plus 20 plus 1 plus 20 plus 8 plus 10, plus 19, plus 6, plus 2, plus 3, plus 0. Again, dapat mga anak, tamang-tama lahat ito. Kasi nga, isang pagkakamali, mali na lahat. Okay, X and Y. We have 12, plus 15, plus 15, plus 40, plus 6, plus 0, plus 32, plus 10, plus 38, plus 42, plus 16, plus 30, plus 0. This is equal to 200. 56. And we have summation of x squared. We have 9 plus 25 plus 1 plus 4 
plus 36 plus 0 plus 16 plus 1 plus 4 plus 49 plus 64 plus 100 plus 81 this is equal to 390 and we are now ready to solve our B and our A okay by substitution sabi ko nga nandito ang ating formula unahin natin lagi si B B okay pero mas gusto kong gumamit ng ganito ma'am kasi iisa-isahin natin okay letter B the formula in finding B is Okay, N. N. Paano ba yung N natin? Bibilangan natin, ma'am. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, our N is 13. Okay? Times. Summation of XY. Alam natin, mga anak, na ang summation of XY natin is 256. Nakikita ba, ma'am? Yes. Minus. Okay, minus summation of X. Summation of X is 58. Times. Times summation of Y, which is? 111 one, one. One, 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 or 111 all over po yes. n is again 13 times summation of x squared meron po tayong 390 minus summation of x okay summation of x is 58 58 ito po ang ating e squared. e squared okay isa isa natin mga anak para hindi tayo magkamali 13 times 256 is equal to 3,328 minus 58 times 111 is equal to 6,438 okay all over okay 13 times 390 sorry 390 is equal to 5,000 70 minus 58 squared sorry na 58 squared is equal to 3,364 nakakasunod bang kin? Yeah. equal to, let's subtract 3,328 minus 6,438 tama ba? Apo. equal to negative 3,110 all over 5,070 minus 3,364 is equal to 1,706 equal to okay so we have now negative 3,110 divided by 1,706 we have now negative 1.82 sige dalawang digit lang kukunin natin dito negative 1.82 so meron tayong B so nasagot na natin ito ma'am this is equal to negative 1.82 2. Okay, nasagot na natin yung B. We are now ready to answer our A. A. Okay? Our formula in A is summation of Y. But our summation of Y is? Our summation of Y is? 111. 111. Okay? Minus B. But our B is? Negative, Negative 1.82. Okay? Times summation of x, which is 58. Yes. Tama, ma'am? Yes. Okay? All over n, but our n is 13. 13. isa isayin natin, mga anak. This is 111, copy. But negative times negative will become? Positive. Positive. Okay? So, 1.82, 1.82 times 58. Okay? Is equal to? 105. 105.56 all over 13. 13. Equal to 111 plus 105.56 is equal to 216.56 all over 13. Equal to 216.56 divided by 13 is equal to 816. Point 66. 66. So, meron na po tayo yung value of A. A. Ang A natin is 16.66. Okay? What is the regression equation? Okay? Paano nga ba yung regression equation natin? Take note that we have Y is equal to A plus B X. Is it, Ma'am Tintin? Yes. Okay? By substitution, alam natin na Y, our A is equal to? 16.66 16. 16. plus our B is? 
Negative 1.82 negative 1. X. X, isn't it? Okay, let's simplify. Y is equal to 1, 6, I, 16.66. Positive times negative will become negative, negative 1.82 X. X. So this is our final regression equation muna ma'am. Okay. So Y is equal to 16.66 minus 1.82 X. Nakakasunod po. Sabi niya dito sa letter D, gusto ko to, sabi niya dito sa letter D, what is the expected X? Oh, si X daw. If Y is 110. Okay? Going back, okay, gagawin natin 110 si Y. y. Nakakasunod ba Yes. Kasi this is our regression. Y is equal to 16.66 minus 1.82 of x. Isn't it? Gagawin daw natin 110c y. Ano daw ang expected x? 110 is equal to 16.66 minus 1.82 of x. Okay? So, we have now 110. Transpose. Let's transpose. Yung walang kasamang x, magiging from positive, magiging negative. negative. Minus 16.66 is equal to negative 1.82 x. Nakakasunod po? Yes. So, we have now 110 minus 16.66 is equal to 93.34. Equal to negative 1.82 of x. Take note, ang kinukuha natin is x. x. Dahil lang kanyang tinatanong ay x. Let's divide both sides by negative, negative 1.82. 1. Negative 1.82. Our expected x is equal to... 93.34 divided by divided negative. by negative 1.82 is equal to negative 51.29 okay so our expected x is equal to negative x is equal to negative 51.29 nakakasunod ma'am tin yes what is ngayon naman ang tanong ko naman what is y if x is 30, ano naman ang y natin kung ang x natin is 30? So, we have na y is equal to 16.66 minus 100 ay 1.82 of x. Papalitan lang natin ng 30 si x. So, we have na y is equal to 16.66 minus 1.82 times, anong x daw natin ma'am? 30. 30. So, y now is 16.66 but 1.81.82 1.82 times 30 is equal to 54.6 54.6 equal to 16.66 minus 54.6 is equal to negative 37.54 Take note mga anak, pwedeng positive, pwedeng negative ang magiging sagot natin sa ating regression. Are we clear ma'am Tintin? Yeah. Okay, that's all for today mga anak. Thank you so much for watching the video discussion. Teknik, panuorin ng paulit-ulit. And alam namin, kayang-kaya ninyo yan. Magtulungan. Lahat yan ay kayang-kaya natin. Walang mahirap. Dahil tayong lahat ay hashtag matibay. Bye-bye everyone!